Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and I'm here today with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about pistol manipulations. So the first thing we want to do is review the firearm safety rules. Rule number one, all firearms are always loaded. Rule number two, keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. Rule number three, keep your trigger finger on the home position until you're ready to fire. And rule number four is know your target and what's beyond. After that, I want you to review your firearms owner's manual. Pull that out, look through it cover to cover. Pay particular attention to the features and the controls. The next thing we're going to talk about is our workspace. So once we've identified a safe direction, which I'm going to say is pointed in this direction, I'm going to keep the firearm pointed in that safe direction. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it close to my body and slightly rotate it out. This is going to do two things for me. Number one, it's going to ensure that I can maintain visual contact with my target and see the firearm in my periphery, or if I should look down, I can see the firearm in my I can focus on the firearm but see the target in my periphery. By rotating it outboard a little bit, that's going to facilitate a much easier load into the magazine well. So when it comes time to actually load, we'll start by having the action closed. That means that you're going to have to cycle the action manually. Now there's a couple ways that you can do that. You can use a slingshot method or an overhand method. Both have value, just play with one and then once you find one that you like, stick with it. The next thing we have to talk about is the purchase on your magazine. Whether your magazine's in a magazine pouch or in a pocket, what you want to do is make sure that the tip of your trigger finger is pointing towards the tip of the bullet. That's going to be what we call tip to tip orientation. The rest of my fingers are just going to naturally wrap around the firearm. Sorry, the magazine. With the firearm in my workspace rotated, it facilitates that easy load. Once I've seated that magazine firmly, rotate it over, charge the action, regrip the gun, and I've completed the loading. Now, when it comes time to unload, bring the gun back to your workspace, go ahead and remove that magazine. Eject that round, lock the action open. Once the action's open, go ahead and check the chamber, check the mag magazine well to make sure that it is unloaded. Now, the next loading I'm going to do is going to be with the action open. Now, here I'm going to have options. I can still cycle the slide manually like I did before, or I can go ahead and use the slide stop lever to release the slide. Now, if your thumb naturally rests on the slide stop lever, it might be an option for you. If your thumb doesn't rest on the slide stop lever, then you might want to choose to go back to the slide manipulation that you did previously. Bringing the gun back to my workspace, take that magazine tip to tip, seat it. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and release the slide by hitting the slide stop lever, regrip the gun back at that ready position. Then when I'm ready to unload, bring the gun back to the workspace, remove that magazine, eject that round, lock the action open, quick little safety check. Once I've done that, close the action and reholster. So, <clears throat> for those of you that are a left-handed shooter, what you might want to consider is in your shopping for a firearm, maybe look to see if that firearm has ambidextrous controls. If you purchased a firearm already, review that owner's manual to see if it has ambidextrous controls. If it does, it's going to facilitate a lot easier loading, unloading, and slide manipulation. Now, of course, if it doesn't, you can still work the actions from the left hand with a right-handed gun. It just takes a little bit more practice. For instance, when it comes time to release the magazine, I'm going to have to use my trigger finger. When it comes time to lock the slide open, I can pull the slide back, and once I do, I pull up on the slide stop lever. When it's time to release, pull back and release, and then regrip the gun. So there are options for the left-handed shooter with a right-handed firearm, but in today's world, there's a lot of ambidextrous features that are out there that you might want to check out. All right. I'm Jeff Gonzalez. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.